sup sup welcome back i'm excited to have you here for my new comic book day radar for march the 10th of 2021 this is a pretty short list and um there's some cool things to talk about so before i ramble too long don't forget to like and subscribe comment connect or do whatever you do on the platform you're on just look for my furry face inside an orange circle and press all the buttons next to it so the first book I'm looking at this week is Nottingham number one. This is from Mad Cat Studios, I believe. And um, it's supposed to be a kind of a twist and uh, play on uh, Robin Hood, telling another Robin Hood story. So I'm interested. The art looks really cool. And um, the creative team seems to be pretty solid. So I'm excited to find out more about how they're going to tell the Robin Hood story this time. We've seen it so many times but i think this is a character that's very endearing and nobody really seems to be too tired of him so i'm excited to see a cool version of robin hood deep beyond number two i'm pretty excited for this one i've only read i think like three quarters of the first one i'm almost done with it um and i really like it it's I don't know it just it it feels very cosmic in presentation and it seems to be asking a lot of interesting questions so i'm excited to find out more details as i finish up this one and find out what the hook is for number two so i can go ahead and grab that um on the 10th paranormal hitman number two i talked to brett murphy the writer here on my channel so um you can always check out that interview and find out kind of what paranormal hitman is about but it's basically an action comedy and you have this agency almost like the men in black or something like that but they are paranormal hitmen so they can um they take out like ghosts and things like that of um you know there's like a lot of historical ghost-like figures involved in this and stuff and so they can kind of play around with a lot of the like action comedy elements and play with time and almost like hot tub time machine or something you know where um, you have this opportunity to kind of play with different time periods and different settings and play off of different character tropes from those eras. So it's a lot of fun. It's really cool. I'm excited for number two. Scouts Honor number three. I also interviewed uh, David Pepos on my channel. So you can check that out and find out a lot about Scouts Honor. But overall, I really enjoyed it. I thought the first one was pretty like packed with a lot of... Um, not, not so much detail, but like world building, you know, setting up a lot of things. And then in the second book, we got some really cool action stuff. We got to see Kit just really bring it down. And we got some cool surprises and um, unexpected twists that made it um, a really great issue, like an awesome follow-up. It didn't feel like we learned quite as much about the world as we did in the first one. But I do hear the third one is supposed to kind of get back to a lot of that expansive world building. But I thought in the second one, we did get really great character relationships. So I'm excited to see how those two elements from the first and second one start to blend together. And the more we learn about Kit and Kit's friends and the Ranger Scouts, I think the more we'll learn about the world. So I'm definitely excited for Scouts Honor 3 this week. Space Bastards number three is out this week. I really like this one. This is another kind of like action comedy in a way like... I don't say it, I wouldn't say it leans super heavy into the comedy elements, but there is this way that the characters interact, almost like a, a buddy cop kind of feel. Um, it's not like over the top funny, it's not necessarily a comedy, but there's a lot of humor to the character relationship there. So I thought that was really cool. And then just the story overall, like they're traveling through space, they're delivering packages, and the way that the money system, and it's almost like capitalism has gotten way out of hand in the future. And I really enjoy that because it just gives this no holds barred kind of presentation that's, um, I mean, it's like a, a rocket ride all the way through the whole issue. So I'm really enjoying Space Bastards. And I'm definitely going to stick around for it. Um, thanks to Brian Wayne of Cheers to Comics for putting that on my radar way back with number one. Homesick Pilots number four. I went into that a little, huh, I've kind of talked about how I wasn't too sure how much I cared for Dan Waters. But um, at this point, I really enjoyed Homesick Pilots. Um, Dan Waters also wrote something else for Future State, I believe. So anyway, I've had a lot more experience than just Coffin Bound with his writing at this point. And I really like him. I think he's writing some really cool stuff. 
um the characters that he writes are always just like a lot of fun to be around you know and homesick pilots i really like the the core group they seem like the kind of people like i would hang out with you know like late high school just like post high school era um that was definitely the kind of people that i really enjoyed being around it was a lot of fun and um we were just like entering life and really enjoying things and that's what um the homesick pilots characters kind of remind me of so i really love the way he's doing characterizations i really like um you know the way he's pulling off a lot of the um storytelling in homesick pilots because he's got this great artwork and these great layouts to play off of and so it just like really drives it home um so i definitely suggest uh homesick pilots and then mighty morphin number five will be out this week very excited for this one um mighty morphin and power rangers have been bouncing back and forth and um honestly they're both there's some issues that are better of each one you know so i'm really excited for mighty morphin number five we left off with the big reveal of who the green ranger is the new green ranger um and we also oh we also got the reveal of skull's girlfriend candace and so i'm really excited to see how like how all these long-term character relationships are about to clash over everything that's unfolding at the moment and so i think it's gonna be a lot of fun maybe we might even see a pretty big rift where we get like two separate teams kind of at odds you know like two sides to the same coin i'm not sure exactly where they're gonna take it but i am excited to find out because they've been building a lot of zordon and eltarian back lore into this leading up to this and so the reveal with Candace is really just going to be interesting to see how Zordon reacts and what kinds of explanations he suddenly starts to give us. And then the relationship between Billy and the new Green Ranger and Gray Sterling with all the old Rangers and Zordon. I'm excited to see how that element's going to play out as well. So there's a lot going on in Mighty Morphin right now and um, I can't wait to check it out. That's about all the books on my, week, on my list this week very small list um i'm not sure why i i'm pretty sure these are all the titles that are coming out that i usually pull though so um i'm excited to read them it's gonna be a good week for me to get caught up because i do have quite a few books in my backlog that i really need to uh go ahead and catch up on so i'm excited to have a little bit shorter week but i'm also really excited for all these books like all of these are pretty consistently strong there's not some that i'm a little bit excited for and some a lot like I got pretty high excitement for all of these so um i think the standouts on my list here are probably scouts honor space bastards and um mighty morphin power rangers those are probably the three i'm most excited for this week what books are you excited for this week what's coming out on your list what am i overlooking because clearly my list is not quite long enough so let me know in the comments um reach out to me on social media and let me know what books am I missing? What books are you excited for? And uh, what are your top three as far as excitement this week? Before you read anything, what's the top three books you're excited for for March the 10th of 2021? That's all I got for you. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, connect, follow, whatever you do on the platform you're watching this on. And until next time, keep flipping pages.